on The X Factor in 2012. Lucy Spragan has had a very eventful time. She's battled depression, recently got married, and written and released a powerful new single. Welcome to the show, the lovely Lucy. How are you? Just really lovely to see you again. Good to see you too. I said, how are you? It's thought-provoking, it's moving. You should be really proud of it. Thank you so much. Uh, I th it, took a, it took a while to write to like, get, it, get it to where I wanted it to be, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. it it's also really unique, because it's written in the form of a letter. Yeah, it's, um, I think, four letters. I did write it, I should know, but it's, uh, <laughs> I think it's four letters uh, from somebody who is writing to a friend that they had at school, and they're trying to express how they wanted to sort of revert back to what it was like when we didn't have any stresses when you're younger yeah. you grow up a bit and you realize that it starts to get a little bit more difficult and and um, there's a bit of a twist at the end and it's, it's quite sad it's uh, we'll have a look here we go we'll have a look. dear you i hope you don't mind me writing because it's been some time since we last spoke i hope you're doing more than fine damn all that time i don't know where it goes Man, I bet there's been some change, and in my brain, you've been doing so well. I know we're simple, and I know I haven't called, but tell me all there is to tell. I always felt like you know me. I thought of you when I got lonely. Now there's nothing else I can do. This is me reaching out to you. Honestly, I, I heard it once, and I watched the video, and I was almost in tears. Oh, thank oh. you. It's uh, the end bit. Tom Turgens, the actor who's in it, he is just incredible. Yeah, he was in This Is England, of course. Yeah, he was, yeah. yeah. There's a part where he sort of has a breakdown on camera and starts smashing up the kitchen and then just bursts into tears. And when we were filming it, I just had to leave the room. I had to just get out of there because I was just tearing up. Because you co-directed the, yeah, the video as yeah. well. Yeah, so I had the idea for it in my head and I was like, I know exactly how I want it to be. Um, and I gave it to uh, Damien Reeves at Noisebox Films and he was like, quite happily share the directing with you. So A lot of people are more open about mental health these days, which of course is a good thing. Definitely, I think... I think the whole attitude towards mental health is changing. Uh, as most things in life, people are sort of coming out of their shells a bit, and it's so important. So it's, so it's important for people to talk to each other, so that starts with somebody saying, actually, I'm not feeling that good at the moment, and somebody else might say, oh, actually, I'm not either. Exactly, and together you get some help. Yeah. You've had to battle depression yourself. How did it manifest itself? I always say to people, like, um, Depression, anxiety, those sort of things, they're like normal They're like normal illnesses. I say that anxiety is the hay fever of mental illness. It's constantly there, and sometimes you go outside and it's worse, so you've got to go back indoors. The song itself has had a phenomenal response. It? Yeah, it's been amazing, honestly. Like, I often don't read comments and things, but with this, I was like, I I'm going to see what people are saying, and so far I've only seen one negative comment, which oh, I was pretty... Which, which you're always going to get anyway. <laughs> and on the that's internet, that's yeah. like, yeah, that's, that's nothing. Oh, wow, <laughs> you can retire. I know, yeah, I was like, what? Well, you can't retire quite yet, because I know you're putting the finishing touches to your album as I well. Am, um, yeah. Have you written 200 songs? In my life, I think I've probably written more than that, but they're mostly in the bin. Okay. But, um, <laughs> I think so, yeah. I write them all the time. But you write songs. What I love about it, you know, we saw the, your, your music on X Factor, of course, uh, years ago now. Although it seems like it was only yesterday. It's amazing. But you write about everything, like Falling in Love, Knife Crime, to Jeremy Kyle. Yeah, I did write a song about Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> I was on that show. I played it on the show once as well. I was the first person to ever play music on Jeremy Kyle, which I think is the highlight of my yeah, career. Yeah, so yeah. Far. That I've been on here. First person to have her own teeth as well on Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Uh, or a full mouth of teeth, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, but but you, you, what I love about your songs is you never know what you're going to get, and I think that's so refreshing. Um, thank you for that. It's, like, it's really cool that, like, I don't know, the, the new album is quite a mix of odd, odd stuff. I've got a sample of my dog barking on one of the songs. It's about unrequired, like, well, when you love someone and they don't love you, that it can make you feel a bit like a stray dog. You've got your dog uh, with you today, haven't you? I've got my dog with me. Well, what is the dog? He's a Boston Terrier called Steve. A Boston Steve. Terrier called... Called what? Stephen. Stephen. <laughs> right, okay. Why is he called Stephen? Uh, when I was 15, I liked wrestling, and there was Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, on there, so... <laughs> it was called Stone Cold Steve Austin, but when we went to the vet, they got embarrassed saying it, so I was like, just call him Steve. Brilliant. <laughs> What's the big plan in the future? Um, I th for me, it's just, like, to keep building, like... Uh, I've really noticed the difference in the last four years, obviously since The X Factor. I've been playing shows since I was like 12. Not as young as you, but um, <laughs> yeah. um, it's, 
it's really progressing and, and after this sort of fourth year after the show I can actually see it formulating into something so I'm just so excited to just see what happens. Like. And, and, and you've recently got married? I got married, yeah, like in June. I think we've got a photo of you. Oh, yeah. Oh. It was so good. I cried all day. Did you? Yeah, and Georgina, my wife, she didn't even cry at all. She cried like once. Really? <laughs> she, got, she got up to the front of the ceremony and I was like, why aren't you crying? And she, she whispered to me later on, she was like, if I'd have cried, you wouldn't have been able to speak. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it true? Because the day looked fantastic. Is it true that you and your mum got matching tattoos? Yeah, we did. We, got, we, we both had heart tattoos here, so oh. we had step bands. But we had a tattooist, uh, it's called Tom Woodcock, uh, and um, he came down and just stayed all night. I was like, there'll be like three people at one time. It was like hundreds of people. Wow. At the and the dog went. And the dog was at the wedding, yeah. He's There's the dog. <laughs> Uh, and he, he's, is he here? I thought we were yeah, trying to get him in. Come on in, Steve. What's Come on. Stephen, what's this? Come here. Oh, here he comes. Oh, yeah, here he is. Oh, he likes food more than you. Hey. There you go. <laughs> hello, hello, darling. Listen, <laughs> Lucy. Hello, how are you doing? Do you want to come up? No? You're not <laughs> come on. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Stephen <laughs> don't like me. But there we go. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> Lucy, all the best with Thank it. You uh, so really much. great to see you. <laughs> Upstage by a dog again. There we go. Uh, time for some music to feed the soul. Performing Major Lazer's hit, Cold Water. I'm not looking at you now, Steve. Forget it. It's Black Dylan.